Hello and welcome. I'm Sandy Roth, and this is my dear friend and co-collaborator, Tracy Penn. And we're here together to introduce you to a very special program that we're going to be offering to a select group of practices throughout Australia over the next few months. The Practice Transformation Mastery Continuum is an 18-month journey of which we will collaborate with you and work with you to find out and fine-tune all of the areas in your practice that have been a struggle and a challenge, perhaps over your entire working life. I've been working with practices in Australia since 1997. And Tracy, how long have you been actively working with practices? Well, almost 30 years this yes. year. So it's a very long time. Yes. So between us, we have a, a lot of miles under our belt. We have a lot of experiences and we have a lot of insights about those issues that are addressing and being addressed by many practices in most of the states in Australia. As a result of that, we've come together, the two of us, under the guise of best practice, to create a program that we think is the absolute epitome of support, encouragement, structure, substance, and help that takes place in a gradual, methodical, very specific way to help you take your practice from where it is to where it could be, taking into account all of the issues that are important for you to pay attention to, with the exception of clinical delivery, which neither of us is in, able to, to do for you. So we'd like to give you an overview of how this program proceeds and introduce to you the kinds of things that might help you decide if this is exactly what you need right now. Our experience is that many dentists will go to a program or a meeting or participate in a study club or listen to a concept from a speaker and go home and try to implement it. The implementation is often awkward, cumbersome, incomplete, and really off base. So they give up. And so the result of what their efforts have been are not as nearly as appropriate and fulfilling as they have in mind. We have designed this program so that each practice that is going to participate with us has a very specific gradual implementation of concepts and ideas and procedures and processes so that you're not destroying your practice in the wake of changing your practice. And it's that change that we challenge you to look at. So change can be a very quick process in which you actually don't take anybody with you. It's your idea, your vision, and you then struggle to wonder, well, why isn't this working? You know, I've shared that. I've talked to Susie that this is how I want something done. I've talked to Jenny about this. And the reason being is, is that they're actually not on board from the get-go. So during our 18-month program, we'll be working with you and your entire team so that all of them get to understand your vision, your passion, the ideals that you want to look after patients with and create roles and positions for them that allow all of you to be satisfied, feel valued and ultimately offer that optimum patient experience. We will start at the very, very beginning with you. What's important to you, who you are, what you're trying to create in your practice, where you want it to go. Because everything that comes thereafter must flow from you. We will focus on four very important fundamental leadership issues. The standard of care that you establish in your practice, the ethics that you maintain, the belief systems that guide how you function. That is all comes under the overview, the umbrella of the primary purpose of your practice. In this initial session where you, your practice manager, your patient care coordinator, a very important position that we will help you develop if you don't have that person, and perhaps your significant other or spouse or assistant dentist, those key players who are part of the, the ones that are, are going to be asked to go back and implement these ideas, will come together in a very small group meeting with each of the other practices that will be part of our initial session. For three days, we will work with you through a process of clarification, helping you to understand how critical clarity, continuity, consistency, and communication are to everything that comes after. 
This initial session is so powerfully important because everything comes from there. Every question, every decision you make later on about hiring and implementation of patient care and services and those kinds of things has to come from this very fundamental core of who you are. I'm going to talk with you a little bit about the chapters that we work with in our initial session. First is, of course, leadership training and implementation. The discussions about what we call the leadership and management team. These are the people that you want to consider like your board of directors, the people around you who help you function every single day and allow you the privilege of staying focused on patient care while they handle all of the other issues that impact you. We then work with patient coordinators, practice managers, looking at management and team dynamic issues. We will help you learn how to hire, train, evaluate, and implement a very strong team of people. In that first session over a period of three days, you will go home with a virtual encyclopedia of each of those topics, material that's been developed over a period of time, but is fresh and relevant and as modern as tomorrow will be for you. This will be your resource material that in addition to help from me and from Tracy between this initial three-day session and the following three-day session, which will occur about six months later, you will have some things to work on. Gradual implementation, not slash and burn. During this interim, Tracy, you're going to be visiting with each of the practices. Maybe you can talk about what the plan is for that. Absolutely. And depending on what we discover during our initial three days will depend on what our primary focus will be when I come to visit the practice. So I'll be working with you for a couple of days. We'll spend some quality time with the leadership and management team that shared the three days initially with us. And from that, we'll create a plan of where we go from here. So you'll have had a few weeks to settle in, to digest the information that not only did we go through during the three days, but you've come, you know, you've been able to take away back to the practice and you'll have been able to fine tune what it is, um, where, the, where it is that you want to begin. So in doing so, once you've created that starting point, myself and, and some of my team will come in and work with you to make sure that this particular piece is a priority, that it fits with where you are in the journey, and that we implement it well, because we only want to do that once. So we want to work with you and to create this foundation that which we can build all the other relative pieces on top of. A little bit like when you build a house. You know, you want a really solid foundation before the bricks and the mortar start. No different to the practice. One of the things we want to underscore and emphasize very, very specifically is that each individual team that's participating in this program is following their own path. This is not a cookie color cutter program. It is unique. It is as individual to you as your fingerprint. Following that first six months when you've been at the initial session with your leadership and management team, Tracy and her team have been in to help you implement in your practice, you and your entire team will return to a second session for three days where each of your teams again will be uh, grouped around a table and we're going to take you through things that are very important for all of you in the practice. Think about this. The initial session is about guiding the practice. The second session is about service to customers and your patients and how to implement ideas that are reflective of who you are and what you want to do. So I've got some of the topics here to talk with you about. We're going to work on behavioral dentistry, documentation and planning, financial arrangements, the importance of hygiene and its role in the practice, how you work with new patients, how you revive existing patients, um, relationships and, and frustrations with patients, all of those kinds of things, normal practice day-to-day -day things and urgencies. Those are the topics that really grind the day-to-day -day team member that you have in your practice. We want to help them with some skill building, some training, so that now we have the direction of your practice. We've got content and training for your team. And again, you will go home with a second library of information that will further help you to implement. 
in a gradual process. And part of what Tracy and her team and I from the US will be helping you do is make choices about how to change things in such a way that you don't upset your entire practice, but you keep it moving forward. There, there's a basic principle here. You create the wonderful new and then the old drops off because there's no longer room for it. And that's a process that we're going to engage and help you learn how to implement throughout this entire program. Yes, and, and it's interesting because when we talk about this continuum uh, with doctors right now, you know, they're a little baffled as to how we would create and, and help you implement this change. And my answer to that is one patient at a time. Mm. So we will, we will share with you some uh, behavioral skills, communication skills, ways in which you can engage with patients that you would never have thought possible. We will help you to ask the difficult questions and stay with that question until we actually can dig a little bit deeper and find out where is, where is this patient? Where have they been? Where are they now? And that they're right here now, you know, looking for help and they're at that point of where do we go with, you know, where do I go with my treatment and my dentistry? And we want to help you to discover how to ask more questions and get them to tell you more about that. And it, it's actually much easier than you think. And it's not a matter of going A to Z through your database. We will do this one patient at a time, one day at a time. You have our prediction. You have more opportunities in your practice than you know how to take advantage of, than your team is organized to take advantage of. There are so many opportunities that go by the by that Tracy and I recognize because we're looking for them with fresh eyes. That's what we want to turn over to you and your team to be able to function with. In between the second session and the third session will be another visit from Tracy and her team where that process of implementation and integration will continue at your pace, in your culture, in your style. And, and again, this is your agenda. So even though we're creating, I think there's 26 chapters yes. over the 18 months, it, it we will work with you to your agenda. So you may look at some of the content and feel that you have this section already sorted, that you're crystal clear about how this particular piece works in your practice. Fine, if it's working great, we don't need to change that. So we will focus on the things that need fine tuning, need polishing. And it's often around behavior and communication. And that all always starts with you. You know, the theme of that first session is you have to set the agenda for the direction of your practice. The theme for the second session is entirely different. We spend too much time fixing problems we created ourselves. <laughs> we want to help you establish ways of working and your staff and your team ways of working so you're not creating problems that you're paying people to fix on your behalf. There's a huge economy around all of that. It changes the way you feel about your practice and it changes your production. The final session is one where you will reassemble your leadership and management team. You, your dentist partners, your spouse where appropriate, your practice manager, your patient coordinator, your board of directors. Because we're now going to go into is working with long-term planning. What we don't want is anybody to complete this program and feel like they have to do it over and over and over again. We want these changes to be yours, but to be very, very deep very, very structured, very, very owned by you. In our last session, we're gonna talk about things like case presentation. We're gonna talk about customer service. We're gonna talk about facilitation training and ongoing training for your staff. Um, marketing and promotion is very, very important. Establishing expectations with your patients, practice workshops, strategic planning, protocols and team development over the long run. This is where the key players, the decision makers and the implementers come back yet again in a smaller group now than with the entire team to really deepen and finalize each of the areas where you wanna take your practice in the future. This, is, this final session with us is not the end of the program, however, because Tracy and her group will be back into your practice yet again to ensure that everything is in place. And of course, we will continue to be available to support you as you do your final implementations. At that point, 
you will have had an immersion in all of the issues across this very broad spectrum of topics that are important for you to know about, to work with, to develop, to clarify, so that you have a practice that's designed specifically for you. It is a nice amount of work. It's good work though. It's work that's intended with our support and the support of your board of directors, your leadership and management team to be lasting work. And isn't that what you want? Nothing that's fly by night, nothing that's gimmicky, nothing that's a flash in the pan. It's solid structure for your practice that will help you move into a future that is intentional and by design. And we know, and I've certainly experienced in the last 30 years, how much dentistry has changed. You will know it too. Um, and it will keep changing. And in order for us to continue to work with people at an optimum level, then you have to get really clear about some of these things that we've talked about. We're working with practices every day where there's huge chunks of the puzzle that are missing. Both Tracy and I hope that what we've been talking about has really spoken to you and that you are saying to yourself, hmm, maybe this is for me. If so, we want to make sure that we're able to learn enough about you to make sure that we do a nice match. This is a very limited program. A small group of practices will be working with us in this process because it's very supportive. It's very intense. We will focus heavily on you. The amount of care you will get from us and this program is significant. And so it's not for large numbers of people. It's for people who are ready to act now. That's right, Sandy. So if you'd like to complete the expression of interest form, I'll be in touch with you. We will have a very good conversation about where you are now and what's spoken to you out of the information that we've shared today, because clearly there will be some challenges in your practice and you will also have a vision that you may be quite disappointed that you haven't reached on your own. And we're here to help guide that process through and let's see if that we've got a synergy and that we can work together because we're very excited about doing that. This program is practice transformation, mastery, continuum. Words we've very specifically chosen to represent the process that we will engage with each of our very important practices. We hope to see you as one of our participants. Bye for now.